All right, guys, it's finally here. Time for me to look at the last X-Men movie. I pray that this will be good. But you know what? It won't be that bad, people. I don't think it'll be as bad as Origins Wolverine. In fact, it'll be better than last day, okay? So, I'm ready for this. And we stand together. X-Men. superhero movie ever made. I'm gonna say this right now. I don't think this is the worst, and let me explain why. So basically the plot is that during a space mission where Jean Grey is absorbed by all this cosmic power, she becomes the Phoenix. And basically there's this group of aliens trying to harness her power in the X-Men and due to the death of a character, the X some of the X-Men hate her, so that's why Magneto goes after her and some of the X-Men are like, we need to protect Jean. And that's where I'm gonna go into the plot. Now basically I see a lot of people saying this is worse than Origins Wolverine, and I don't see the hate for this movie, really. If, if people don't like this movie, that's completely fine. But saying it's worse than something like Origins, you know, a movie that ruined Deadpool until 2016 in the movie industry. Like, really, people? Worse than Origins? Worse than Fan 4 Six? Worse than Spider-Man 3 and Batman and Robin? Really, people? Really? I don't really see the hate for this movie. Let me explain why. First thing I like about this movie are the actors. All of the actors do a phenomenal, do a really good job as always in this role. Michael Fassbender is always good. James McAvoy is always good. Sophie Turner does a really good job. In fact, there's a lot of moments in this movie where I was like, ugh. Like, there's this one scene with her and Charles that actually felt like it was a horror movie. I'm not going to tell you what happens in the scene. But when I was watching it, it felt like it was a horror movie. Yeah. That was that scary. And whenever, like, basically, here's the thing about Jean Grey's powers. You know it's going to come out. You know that she's going to have, like, an outburst at someone. But you don't know when. And when it does happen, stuff gets real. The other actors, I think, do a pretty good job. Um, I like Nightcrawler in this movie. Um, I do like how more serious this movie is. It's very serious due to the whole... Dark Phoenix story, and they're trying to stop Gene from becoming this mutant hunting, this killer, and, yeah. Um, I'll admit, one problem I do have with this movie, this is a major problem I do have with this movie, is the scene between Mystique and Charles, and you know what scene I'm talking about, the, the, we should be called X-Woman scene. Everyone in my theater, even the girls in my theater, cringed at this line. It is that bad, people. The, when... They're saying something like, oh, we should go to X-Woman, and the women in my theater are cringing at this line? You know you failed at delivering this type of line. And it feels so forced, honestly. And that scene between her and Mystique is so stupid. She's all like, well, Charles, you've never done anything. I don't remember the last time you did something important. Um, Mystique, did you watch the last two movies? James McAvoy was in, in this franchise, and Daisy- Okay, sorry about that, something, um, happened, my dog was barking, I just wanted to check on him, but, yeah, to continue from my last point, um, did you forget the last two movies, Mystique, um, in Days of Future Past? He did all he could, he, like, basically spent the entire movie trying to save you, or else all of mutant kind would get killed in the future by Sentinels. Also, in Apocalypse, he let Apocalypse into his mind to save you and the other X-Men. So, yeah, kind of a jerk. Um, also, another problem I do with this movie is the villain. I do think their villains are kind of boring, honestly. But to be fair, in the X-Men movies, the only really good villains we've been having are Bolivar, Trask, and Apocalypse. Magneto, well, and, oh, and Shaw, but Magneto, he's more of an anti-hero, but, but he is still a really good villain. He's my favorite Marvel villain, along with Venom, but still. Um, another thing I don't like about this movie is that I do think the movie is kind of fast-paced. Like, it's like go into this direction, go into this direction, and when it goes to a slow scene, while there are some slow scenes in this movie, like, 
some scenes with Dean, but while they are intense, they do feel kind of slow, and it just feels like they're like coming to a massive halt. But yeah, um, that's really most of my problems with this film. And I know that this ending of the movie doesn't line up with the ending of Days of Future Past. I won't say that. I won't say what happens, but yeah. But to be fair, the X-Men continuity is already screwed up. So, yeah, basically, you can say that um, in this franchise, um, Jubilee was um, American. No, Jubilee was a Chinese woman, and you probably believe it, too, how screwed up this timeline is. Or Mystique was actually red the entire time. You know what? Continuity is so screwed up, you can make that up. But yeah. Uh, but still, the things I do like in this movie, of course I like the actors, the action is really good, especially the last action scene. Dear God, that is amazing. I mean, it feels so creative and so much fun, especially with Nightcrawler. Like, that scene with Nightcrawler was just awesome. It reminded me so much of an X of when his opening scene in X-Men 2. It was so well done, in my opinion. And Michael Fassbender always delivers. Um, James McAvoy is kind of like, he's basically being buddy buddies. With the president, he's like trying to make sure that mutants are safe by protecting the humans. So yeah, I like Scott in this movie. I do think I do buy why he wants to save Gene because he like cares for Gene, and I do understand that. Um, I think he's a really good character, and I like him. And I am going to miss these actors, and I think they really did a good job in this movie. Um, also, I'm going to say this right now: Jubilee is not in this movie. Yeah, so to be fair, she just comes and goes everywhere else. Um, also, if I addressed this point earlier, I'm sorry, but, um, um, do I answer the question, like, if these people were saying, no, this is something I had a question with, but in Apocalypse, they clearly showed she had the Phoenix Force. Why did they say she now got it from here? So, to be fair, this happened in some, this happened basically in The Last Stand, in X-Men 2, they established she had a little bit of Phoenix Force. But, yeah. Um, of course, there's no Wolverine cameo. This is the only, and I repeat, the only Wolverine, this is the only X-Men movie that doesn't have Wolverine in it. Nope, this is the only one since, you know, Hugh Jackman left and they can't hire a new guy to fit in. They will when the MCU takes over them. Also, there is a character that has, like, an MCU thing on it. Like, he's basically wearing a badge that says MCU, and I like that reference. I really did. So, yeah. Um, I feel like most of the action, there's, like, this one action scene in particular that's really cool. Not the last action scene, but before that. Um, and also, I do like Nicholas Holt in this movie. I do think he has good chemistry with, um, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. They always had good chemistry, in my opinion. And you really feel it for him in this movie. He does a really good job. But, yeah. Also, Quicksilver in this movie. I like this opening scene where he basically, like, like saves the, you know, the astronauts. It's probably the weakest of the Quicksilver slow motion scenes. Like, it's not as good as the Days of Future Past one or his apocalypse scene. But, still... Overall, I like um, Dark Phoenix. It's not in my top five of X-Men movies, but I would put this in like the weaker half of my ten of X-Men movies. I'll say that for like later when I do the top ten X-Men movies, not kind of the Deadpool ones. But yeah, overall rating, eight out of ten. I think this was a really good movie. I enjoyed myself. So yeah, that does it for the X-Men franchise, unless I decide to review Deadpool. So I guess my next review series will either be about Toy Story or Spider-Man with... Toy Story 4 coming out, and Spider-Man 4 from Home coming out soon. We'll see you all later, and bye. Overall rating, 8 out of 10. Oh, and I forgot to talk about this. The F-bomb from Cyclops. I'll admit, I kind of laughed a little bit due to, um, um, you know, uh, Magneto's reaction. He's like, if you touch Gene, I'll kill you. And Magneto's like, what are you saying, folks? Are you saying you can kill me? Really? Really, folks? And I just love that expression. like, hmm? Like, yeah. But I do like, um, Dark Phoenix. I do think it's a good movie. Better than Last Stand, in my opinion. So, yeah. Overall rating? 8 out of 10. And I want to bring up this one moment that I did like. There's a scene between Gene and Ragnito, and... Oh, man. That scene was intense. Like, he keeps on asking her this one particular question, and you are all like, Oh, man. Is she going to tell him? Is she going to tell him? And it's really well done, in my opinion. So yeah, I liked um I liked the Arch Phoenix. Overall rating, eight out of ten. See y'all later and bye.